Many people are fond of animals and mostly keep cats and dogs as a pet. But how about keeping a giant, aggressive and the scariest animal as a pet? From the most loyal of guard dogs to canine animals, specifically bred to protect their human owners, the age-old relationship of man's best friend has never been stronger. But for some people, a pet dog just isn't enough. And today we'll take a look at top 11 scariest pets people actually own. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Hexxy Burmese Python A 31-year-old, Marcus Hobbs from Gloucestershire, purchased Hexxy from a pet shop 8 years ago and watched it grow to become a hefty 17 stone. He was bought an 8-inch snake has seen it grow into the world's biggest ever Burmese python measuring more than 18 feet. He feeds the massive snake rabbits, stillborn deer, calves, goats and pigs supplied by local farmers, and she's still growing. The animal is expensive to keep and could be lethal if mishandled, squeezing a human to death in minutes and swallowing them whole. But Mr. Hobbs is confident Hexxy will never strike, but doesn't handle her when his sons are nearby. The couple have bought their current house and are confident their neighbors realize they are responsible pet owners. Timber Wolves This video we've got to turn your attention to this incredibly intriguing image that we recently came across walking a dog is one thing. But a wolf now an eco meets two huge wolves Madad and Gossi are no stranger to being some of the most loyal and loving dogs on the planet. And many people have found great joy and protection in making them a part of their family. However, for some people, these ferociously loyal dogs just aren't enough and their wolf heritage has caused many pet owners to head directly to the source believe it or not. But timber wolves and other wolf dogs of the wild have recently made the most interesting of pets. Particularly in the US pet wolves have become the go-to animal for adventurous pet owners. Especially those trying to break the stigma of the age-old big bad wolf, considering that wolves are incredibly social creatures. It's no wonder that they've once again found a place in the hearts of human pet owners. However, keeping a timber wolf as a pet ally isn't for the faint of heart. So unless you're incredibly capable we wouldn't recommend it. Alligator Wally a Pennsylvania man says his emotional support alligator helps him deal with his depression. Joy Henny said his registered emotional support animal named Wally likes to snuggle and give hugs, despite being a 5 foot long alligator. Henny said he received approval from his doctor to use Wally as his emotional support animal after not wanting to go on medication for depression. Wally was rescued from outside Orlando at 14 months old and is still growing. Henny said Wally could be 16 feet long one day. Henny says Wally eats chicken wings and shares an indoor plastic pond with a smaller rescue alligator named Scrappy. People were worried that animals like Wally would become too dangerous to coexist with people. Wally was just over a year old when a friend of Henny's rescued the little guy and then Henny offered Wally a home as pet. The Chiller Monster any pet animal with the title monster, and it would usually raise a few eyebrows. And the chiller monster certainly lives up to its namesake a heavy, slow moving and otherwise docile lizard. The chiller monster is native to the southwestern United States as well as parts of northern Mexico. Considering that it's the only venomous lizard native to the United States however, its incredibly unpredictable behavior has led to it becoming one of the most unexpectedly dangerous pets to own. Although the chiller monster is especially docile and slow moving it packs a deadly and powerful punch of venom. The chiller monster has to chew the venom into its victim and unaware owners of the pet have often mistaken this behavior. A chiller monster is generally regarded as the most painful venom produced by any vertebrate. If you want to keep a chiller monster as a pet it's probably best that you know the risks. Exotic Pet Bobcats The bobcat is a medium-sized North American cat. Recently become a hot new topic for exotic pet owners with bobcats becoming the number one attraction. A bobcat is an elusive wild cat found in the forests, swamps, and deserts of North America and Mexico. They are roughly twice the size of a domestic cat and have large paws, tufted ears and a bobtail. The cats do everything with the couple, eating, exercising and even sleeping in the same bed as them. The McAllister's first love of bobcats began when Mick found a bobcat kitten as a child. Bobcats rarely attack humans, but are classed as backquote dangerous exotic pets in the state of Texas, where it is legal for a person to own the wild cat ensuring they have the correct permits. 
Bobcats are highly territorial creatures and don't make very good pets. Monkeys. Monkeys, although cute on the surface the smaller variety of our distant relatives are far more dangerous than they may appear all larger monkeys of the old world. Variety has canines that can inflict serious injury combine that with the fact that these monkeys can be prone to dangerous, violent, and spontaneous mood swings. When they hit maturity, there have been numerous cases of pet owners being fatal surprised by the violence of these old world simians native to Africa and Asia the umbrella of the old world. This adorable monkey loves nothing more than being brushed. Delightful footage shows 20 year old macaque angel being pampered by its owner Teresa Bullock using a set of makeup brushes. And despite negative response from critics, Teresa claims the demanding primate loves her beauty regime which is totally harmless. But of all the animals Teresa cares for, Angel holds a soft spot in her heart. Slow lorries. Slow lorises are nocturnal animals. Therefore, being kept in a brightly lit room is incredibly uncomfortable and causes pain and suffering. When you just take one look at the slow lorries and you'll understand exactly why people want to keep them as a pet, while they may be one of the cutest animals on earth. Few people realize just how dangerous a slalorris can be to humans as the only venomous primate on the planet. In the wild the slalorris would feed on a complex diet of fruits and insects. Owners often struggle to meet these special dietary needs. Slalorises have a venomous bite that is harmful to humans. Usually their teeth are clipped, but if their teeth are still intact, they mix venom secreted from a gland inside their upper arm with saliva to deliver a venomous bite. Slow lorises are in a serious danger of extinction, with the biggest threat to survival being the illegal trade in wildlife. It is illegal in many countries to keep a loris as a pet. Monitor Lizard Pet Monitor lizards are large lizards in the genus Pharanus. They are native to Africa, Asia, and Oceania, but are now found also in the Americas as an invasive species. There are about 80 recognized species. Mr. Gary Smith was originally banned from taking his black-throated monitor called Thor out for a stroll after a string of complaints. He has been ordered to keep his huge pet lizard on a lead while walking it in a park after it scared other dogs. Dozens of dog owners and park users said they were worried the three stone 5 FT long critter would attack their pets or even injure children. But town hall chiefs agreed to lift the ban if Gary agreed to keep Thor on a lead while in Mark Eaton Park. Gary bought Thor 10 months ago to go with his collection of 31 snakes, 6 lizards and 7 spiders which he keeps at his home and RB. Giant lizards could do a lot of damage, his claws could slice your arm or head open. But that would be very out of character. He described their routine saying, backquote I tend to walk Thor in the summertime and basically when the weather is good. Bear pet. There are many reasons people keep dogs and rabbits as pets rather than bears, but I think they can all be distilled to one simple truth. They don't want to die. It's as straightforward as that really, isn't it? Bears are cute and all that, but they are also more than capable of absolutely mauling anybody who pisses them off. Anyway, with that established, meet Stepan, a 23-year-old bear who lives in Russia. Admittedly, around 100,000 brown bears are estimated to live in Eurasia according to the World Wildlife Fund, but unlike most Russian bears, Stepan doesn't just live in the wild, or even in a zoo. He spends most of his time chilling with his owners. Stepan stands at a huge 7 foot tall and weighs 21 stone. The Pantelinkus adopted him when he was only 3 months old, which means he's tamer than the average bear. Well, those guys seem pretty set with their pet bear. The short answer, no, bears are not good pets. Cheetah Pet Cheetah is a large cat of the subfamily felony that occurs in North, Southern and East Africa, and a few localities in Iran. If you ever think owning a pet lion is a good idea we are sorry to burst your bubble, but it's not in fact it's probably among the most deadly and aggressive creatures on the earth. But a group of dedicated conservationists at Cheetah Outreach in South Africa has taken on the plight of the majestic big cat with unwavering determination. Harry Hines has worked with animals since his early teens, and now at 27 is assistant curator at the non-profit organization's facilities in Somerset Western French Hoke, where he has formed an incredible bond with the cheetahs on site. But there's more to the work than feeding the cats and taking them out for runs. 
Harry is closely bonded with all the cheetahs at the center. People thinking they contain the dangerous king of the jungle. Lion Pet Lions are not domesticated animals. Even if you raise them in a domestic environment, they are still wild and will act on their wild instincts. I will never in my life tell anyone keeping a lion as a pet. Two animal loving brothers have welcomed an unconventional housemate into their home. An adult African Maasai lion from Pakistan have been raising the beast ever since he was just two weeks old. The brothers fondly call him Simba after Disney's hit animated movie The Lion King and started looking after the cub after his mum stopped feeding him. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With this being said, let's begin.